So sadly, this is the end of the conference. Let me make a quick announcement. So, the Kaigi is over this year. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for attending Ruby Kaigi, Ruby Kaigi this year. I, I think, well, actually, actually, the, this year's Ruby Kaigi was the biggest Ruby Kaigi ever. In terms of uh, number of attendees, we've got more than more than one thousand attendees this year. from all over the world, really. And, you know, you see, we've got more than 1,000. A little bit less than 1,100. So the, the ninzu is senindai, sendai in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for a Japanese joke. But uh, anyway, uh, also, this year's Rubikagi was the greatest Kaigi, in terms of number of sponsors as well. Um, so we've got 71 sponsors. Um, sh I'm sure this event wasn't possible without these uh, uh, great help for, from these sponsoring companies. So let me say again, thank you very much for sponsoring us. So thank you very much for the sponsors. And all 71 sponsors are on the official website, so please check the list of the sponsors here in this URL. Right. So anyway, did you enjoy the conference? How was the conference? Great. For me, at least, the Ruby Kai was a great, great conference, for me, at least. Mm, so, why? But why? I thought to myself, why, why Ruby Kai is so good? I, I, why, why, what, what makes Ruby Kai great? Maybe great talks? Yes, I think so. So the, the quality is of the talks in Ruby Kaigi was, was amazing, superb. So definitely thank you for the speakers that provided great talks. And yes, these are just wonderful. So, so now why are the Ruby Kaigi talks so great? Another question. Maybe because we rejected all soft talks. Well, of, cor of course, we intentionally did this. Or, uh, um, uh, still, we couldn't reject Matt's talk, talk though. But uh, to make the conference technology-centric, we did this intentionally. Or, or maybe because we rejected our <laughs> real <rail> stocks. <laughs> Again, we did this. <laughs> well, maybe. But I guess what really makes good Technical talks are not just technology, but I believe people, or I would say, in this case, Rubyists here. Or in other words, you. So, what what matters? What really matters to me is, I mean, for to us, the conference team, is not just technology or not, not just code, not just Ruby, but the, the people behind Ruby, pe the people who wrote the code, the library, the framework, the language, etc. So, so we're, we're, what we're really focusing on is not just code, the people behind the code. Right? So, this is what we do, this is what Ruby is for. And again, in Japanese, we say like this. Uh, <laughs> So, 
So, if you want to become a speaker of Ruby Kaiki, it's it's simple. It's so easy. It's it's so simple actually. Just what you have to do is write code first. You never can be a Ruby Kaiki speaker without writing code, because we never select uh, non-code writer, right? So first, write code. Do write code. Just write code. Yeah. <laughs> And bring the code you wrote next year. I mean, next year. We're waiting for your proposal for Ruby Kaigi 2019. <laughs> yes. yes, it's happening. So. Well, I hope you, you're you all enjoying visiting Sendai, or maybe you already live in Sendai, but anyway, you, you're enjoying Rukaki in Sendai, right? Uh, we originally started this event from Tokyo, and we started to have Kaigis in like, other cities, and we came so far from Tokyo. And so, probably it's time to go, not to go back, to go further. <laughs> like, like, for example, overseas, maybe? <laughs> yes. Yes, obviously. Oh, yes. This is actually a great idea, right? Let's do this. Let's, let's cross the sea between between this island and another island. <laughs> and do the next Kaigi in another island. <laughs> An island called Kyushu. <laughs> guess which city? you can guess. Oh. This city. <laughs> Sorry, you may not able to read this in English though. In, in English, it's spelled like this. And the conference is held on A little bit earlier than this year's Kaigi. The dates are in April. In April. Please mark the date and put the dates in your calendar now. So Ruby Kaigi still goes on, still goes on. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not sure when it ends, but it never ends. Uh, I mean, <laughs> so far as I can say, Rukagi never ends. You cannot parse this in Ruby 2 Pi, but you can in Ruby C6. Rukagi goes on. <laughs> So I think that's it. See you next year at the next Ruby Kaigi. I'm hoping to see you all, each of you, at the next Kaigi in Fukuoka. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> and now, let me introduce the team. It wasn't only me who made the Ruby Kaigi successful. Um, so let me introduce the whole members of the team. The organizers, organizer Minasan, Tanjo Made. Quick, quick. Organizer Minasan. So these people. 
So these are the, ah, uh, ちょっと待って organizer だけ。So these are the people who organized the conference, like, uh, ah, so. <laughs> Who are the organizers from Tokyo? Tokyo, who lives in Tokyo? Well, from Senzai. Senzai, Senzai. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you for lo localizing the conference. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and we have more like staff in blue shirts. So, please. あのあ青い T シャツの皆さん皆さんおめでとうどうぞ。Quick. <笑>